So I've probably done this all wrong. Um, I've uh, geared up and done all that stuff, taken 15 minutes to do everything, get the bike off. I probably should have started it while it was still on the trailer to make sure it starts. I roll started it um, at home quickly uh, just to make sure I was going to start and, and be sort of warm, I guess. So fingers crossed. Let's uh, let's give her a few kicks and see what happens. Eh? I'm sure that there's some sort of set trick on how to start this thing and I just uh, I need to learn it well, I need to do a lot of things but I need to learn that I think it's gonna be a big one okay hey, welcome to Jojo Moto out for an afternoon ride in this magnificent area not too many other places I'd rather be I got some awesome plans for this afternoon and just I'm just looking forward to being riding man it's just been way too long so let's get into it okay as the bike and I warm up um, I'm uh, just gonna let you know what's happening today I'm going solo I'm on my 200 so I got a bit of a plan for the for the riding section of today's uh, I'm gonna be doing little loops near the car for the first Oh, the first little while because I'm just not super confident in the bike yet. Um, I've been riding it basically every day, but just at home and not a lot, you know, so. And there's still times where I just can't start it. Like I just end up having to roll start it. But I'll get you guys uh, off in a second and show you over the whole bike and all the stuff I've been doing to it. Because I've just been, this has not really been a, you know tutorial videos or anything like that it's just been this is a little my little bike to rip around on and yeah anyway that's the plan is just to woo, have some fun nice and close to the car and if we start to feel confident we'll go out and do some other stuff but there is plenty of amazing riding right here so we won't be missing out Had a lot of rain, there's a lot of lantana, everything's very washed out. Hey, don't stall the bike. Every time I want to turn the bike off, I know I'm going to be trying to stop on a hill, practicing my kickstarting a few times, but then if I can't start it, I can at least roll start it. So. I'm going to catch something going through that. Look at it! I was just thinking, do I dare turn it off? I'm trying to get it into neutral then. Oh well, I've done it now. I'm just trying out two pumps of the throttle and then a bit of gas as I start it. Nope, full gas. I know. Okay. Oh no. Ah, oh, this is why I'm glad we're near that hill. Right. 
<laughs> well, this is what we sort of uh, we sort of expected a little bit. But gosh, I'm used to we're all starting in, you know, shoes and shorts and stuff. Not all my all my gear. See, this is the issue. If I go way out bush into some single tracks in the middle of nowhere, and I can't start it. You're gonna have a bad time. Dirt bikes are, yeah, probably just on every single ride. 
<sighs> if you are watching this and you are considering getting a dirt bike, I highly recommend it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, even if stuff does turn a bit awry, I at least know where I am. And the, whoa, and the main roads on how to get back to, oh, I'll get back to here if I need to. Go oh, with the car and try, oh my gosh, why am I talking? <laughs> and trying to do that hill at the same time. Oh, my gosh. This is everything I needed right now. Not gonna get into my personal life, but stuff has been pretty messy and pretty bad the last oh, little bit. Man, getting out on the dirt bike and just ripping it. No, I don't know. It's just, it's exactly what everyone needs. Everyone needs in their life. <laughs> I don't know where I am, but I like it. <laughs> this is beautiful in here. There you go, it turns out I do know where I am. <sighs> Look at that, hey? Look at that. Yeah, absolutely magical spot. riding for ages now let's go find a little hill to stop on in some shade and I can roll start it if I need to hey we're gonna practice a kickstart every time but still want a bit of backup you guys know uh, the bike it's my KTM 200 EXC 2003 or my 04 or something model anyway uh, we've had the dramas with kickstarting and it's just uh, been nothing but a joke, but um, Let's run through all the stuff that we've done to it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm knackered. I've been riding really hard and um, Haven't ridden for so long. So I'm very whew, I'm tired. So anyway, let's go through all the stuff I've done to the bike so far. All right So we've got a new uh, Ballard's kickstand and we actually pulled the cases apart and whatever. Didn't have to get the engine out or anything, but um, pulled off the side covers and the clutch and all the rest of it because we replaced the, um, the shaft there. I may have some photos that I can put up on the screen. Um, ended up snapping the Kickstarter because it was welded on there and whatever. It was just a mess, absolute mess. So I thought, no, do it right. Replace all of it. Um, and a more recent addition, actually just this morning I put it on, is the side stand. It didn't have a side stand, so that's been... Uh, Oh gosh, super helpful. I've loved having a stand. It's so hard without a stand. You just don't know how much you miss it until you don't have one, hey. Um, and apart from that, I put some new fuel lines on it and whatever because they're leaking a bit. And um, I adjusted the idle up as well, just trying to keep it running um, as much as possible so it doesn't stall out. But um, apart from that, I haven't really done anything. Like it's just, you know, it's the way that the way that I bought it. Um, still, so many little bits and pieces I need to work on and fix on and, and, and do all my do all my stuff too we've got fork seals to do and whatever but i think i might adjust the idle while i'm stopped if um just up a little bit if i can get it started easily um but yeah it's just such a fun bike i do love riding it it, it is an absolute animal um if it just started easier like if if you could just if you knew that you could just kick start it like uh, mr luke's bike or, or whatever it would i'd love it i would absolutely love it and probably register it and do all that sort of stuff but um until that day comes i don't know i don't know if we'll be able to keep it anyway with the the new bike on the way so yeah um that's the bike and uh we're gonna go find an awesome hill climb now i'm just i'm so keen to go and find this hill climb that i haven't done for so long so yeah let's get back on the bike in a minute once i've cooled down and uh <laughs> and have a crack at it it's it's like 38 degrees or something today i've picked the wrong day we're gonna go for a swim later so Anyway, let's uh, chill out and then go find that hill climb. Not today. No throttle.
Okay. <laughs> oh, well, we need to be able to do some of those little push start sort of things rather than. Anyway, whatever. Let's just ride and have fun. Ooh, there it is. It's looking a lot more chopped up. <laughs> When I rode this, it's got to be, I don't even know, like a year or more ago. It was such a fresh hill. It was so easy to ride. What gear am I in? Oh my gosh, I was in like fourth gear. <laughs> Okay, come on. That's <laughs> a bit of a bit of a shame, hey. That used to be just like the most ripping hill because it was so uncut up. You could like gravy hill, you know. You could smash it up as fast as you want. Anyway. No hand guards, getting prickles all in my fingers. That's always fun. Not. All right. I think from here, we're going to head on to a mate's private property, just here somewhere, and uh, do this little creek bed he has set up. I think, <laughs> I think that might be me done. I'm so spent. Been out here for a few hours and just, whew. Alright, here we are on the uh, private property on the creek bed track. Ooh. Yo. Euro section. <laughs> Where did that come from? Oh, there's even a trail up there. Woo! That's so good, man. That's so good! Keep that momentum going. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> Oh, a bit of, bit of polo with the bunny nuts too, look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've run the gauntlet enough. I realized about halfway through there and just didn't say anything because I didn't want to sort of jinx myself or whatever. If, if I stalled it halfway through that creek bed, oh my god, what a nightmare! And couldn't start the bike again. What a nightmare! No, thank you. 
Oh, I've run my risk. Oh, there's neutral again. I've danced with the devil today. I've uh, put it all on the line. So that's where I'm going to leave it today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for coming out on an awesome, awesome afternoon just to be out on the bike. I, I just cannot, cannot stress it enough how important it is for your well-being to do this stuff if you're a dirt bike rider or whatever. Ah, get out, live life, do fun stuff, make memories, hey. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do the notifications. Remember, 50 likes equals 50 lantanas gone from the bush. I'll go and cut them down myself. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, do the notifications, subscribe, uh, we'll do all the other social media thingies as well. And I'll see you guys on the next ride. It's time to head to the dam for a swim, man. I am cooked. I, I feel like my my head is a bloody crock pot or, you know, like a Korean barbecue in there, man. It's a hot pot. Oh, I'm melting. I didn't put my pouch on. Oh, I need my pouch so bad. Pouches are the best. I should start a Jojo Moto brand pouch. I'm sure a lot of people would want that if I Oh, that's a good call. What do you guys reckon? Start designing, start making, because they're so amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just make it simple, a little bar mount like the other ones. Oh yeah. I would buy my own product, that's for sure.